Well, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. And to start off this tutorial, I'm gonna use my Milani eyeshadow primer to prep my eyes for the eyeshadows. After I'm done putting the primer on my eyelids, I'm gonna take this Wood and Wild single eyeshadow to prep the eyes as a base. Um, it's in the shade Brulee uh, 251B. So to start off as my transition shade, I'm gonna take the shade Isabel in the palette and just distribute that into my crease. And I'm gonna be taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills blending brush. Um, if you do get the palette, the palette does come with a brush. I'm just using that same brush. Um, it's a two end brush, so I'm just taking the fluffy side and that's why I called it the blending brush. To darken up the crease a little bit, I'm gonna take the shade Violetta. Um, it's right next to Isabel and I'm gonna be taking my BH Cosmetics 101 brush. And that's the same brush I use to use um, the shade that I use from Wet n Wild. If you're starting off with makeup, I would really recommend using tape. That's how I really started um, doing makeup, just using tape. Um, until this day, I still use it. It, it. The tape really does help. Also with eyeliner. Um, if you don't know how to do your cat eye eyeliner, use tape. The tape will save your life. Now for the third shade, I'm going to be adding the shimmery shade called Kim. I'm going to be adding that at the center of my eyelid with my um, Anastasia Beverly Hills shadow brush. And as you can see here, I'm just going back and forth with that same um, shadow that I used, the second one called Violetta, um, that dark brown. I'm just, I just wanted to darken up the crease a little bit. Um, it's totally up to you. You can leave it the way it was or you can darken it up. Um, the trick to do smoky eyes is just building up the consistency and blending, adding on, blending and adding on. Because um, sometimes when you do multiple eyeshadows, the first eyeshadows that you put in tend to fade away um, a little bit. So you just pack on, blend, pack on and blend. And I'm j just doing the same thing to the other eye. I'm starting off with Isabel, and then afterwards I'm gonna be going with Violetta and then Kim at the center of my eyelid with the same eyeshadow brushes. So I took the tape off from my eyes and now I'm just taking a makeup wipe and just clean up my face a little bit because I had some fallout. So to start off, to prep my skin, I'm going to be using my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray as my base and then I'm going to be using my Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser Primer by Maybelline after that. And for foundation, I'm going to be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Foundation in the shade Golden. Shout out to my best friend Courtney. She hooked me up with this one. Um, she suffers from oily skin just like I do. And she's a acne prone skin just like me. Um, at first, I didn't really like it because I started blending it with a kabuki brush. Um, and I just didn't like the way... It looked afterwards um, but the best way to blend this foundation is with a synthetic brush and to blend and to blend that out I'm gonna be using my real techniques expert face brush
And to conceal, I'm going to take two concealers. The first concealer I'm going to be taking is the Benefit Erase Paste in number two, shade Medium. This is a really creamy concealer and really pigmented. So a little bit goes a long way. And then I'm going to be taking my Equal Tools Concealer Brush to apply that under my eyes. And for the second concealer, I'm going to go with my CoverGirl Seti Set Gorgeous in the shade Medium, I believe, uh, number 115. I'm not too sure. The sticker where it sets the shade and number peeled off a really long time ago, so uh, I don't really know. Um, but most likely, it is the shade Medium 115. If I remember, um, it has to be that. And to blend out those two concealers, I'm going to be taking my BH Cosmetics 128 brush. To sit under the eye slash to bake, um, I didn't really bake here, but you can use it to bake. I'm going to be using my Airspun Original Formula Loose Powder um, to set the concealer, and I'm going to be using my BH Cosmetics to, excuse me, 129 brush. Now to contour or to bronze, I'm going to be taking my Botanics Contouring Kit. I'm gonna be taking the Contouring Shore. Shore. Wow. My Contouring Shade. Well, I don't know why I said Shore. <laughs> and I'm gonna be applying that shade with my Real Techniques Multitask Brush. So I'm just gonna be adding that to my cheeks, my chin, my forehead, and my nose. And to highlight under my eye, I'm going to be taking that same palette and I'm going to be taking the highlight shade and with that I'm going to be using the Real Techniques setting brush. And now for eyebrows, I'm going to be brushing my hairs up and I'm going to be taking this spoolie by e.l.f. And to fill them in, I'm going to be taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Eyebrow Duo Powder in the shade Granite. And I'm going to be taking the gray powder, not the black one. Um, and I'm going to be applying that with an angle brush by BH Cosmetics. And once I'm done filling them in, I'm going to be taking that same spoolie and brushing the hairs up and just making sure that everything is, that everything is blended. Forgive me, forgive me. Huh. Now, follow me, follow me, follow me. Now for blush, I'm gonna be taking this Elf blush in the shade Berry Mary, and I'm going to be applying that with my Equal Tools powder brush. Okay, so now for the fun part. Before I apply my highlight, I like to set my face uh, and I don't let it dry completely. Um, so, so when I apply the highlight, um, it looks more brighter. You could say brighter or more pigmented, so it can look more pigmented. And to highlight, I'm going to be taking this single eyeshadow that I found at Dwayne Reed. Um, it's probably new because I've never seen it before. It's by Maybelline and the shade is in Champagne Fizz. 
um, it's only like three bucks so it's very affordable and it's really really good um, I would totally recommend it if you're under a budget um, like I am sometimes <laughs> And now for mascara, I'm curling my eyelashes and I'm going to be applying my um, mascara, the Full Seas Push Up Angel in the shade black. I'm not going to lie, the first time I saw this wand, I was intimidated because I tend to poke my eye every time. I put mascara I believe my in one of my makeup tutorials recently I poked my eye and it was caught on camera tragic and now to finish off the makeup tutorial I'm going to be applying lipstick I'm going to be applying this Maybelline lipstick in the shade 560 raw chocolate um it's their new they have a new nude collection it's amazing i didn't get all of them i only got this one but i probably go back to my local drugstore and just buy more so i really hope you enjoy this makeup tutorial if you have any questions please don't be afraid to ask me down below in the comments like, subscribe, and share this video, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye-bye. I need to get my life together.